Hi there everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to create a vase in 3D Studio Max. Let's start by having a reference image of a vase. I have here an image of a vase. The dimensions of this image is 348 by 735. So I will create a plane in front view, go to modify panel and change the length to the number here which is 370 735 so I will make this 73.5 centimeters and change width to 34.8 now we need to center this or move this plane to the center point We also need to move it to be here. This is fine. Now we need to apply a material to this plane. So we have here a standard material. You can change this material later find the image of the vase which you, which you are using as a reference we have this image here now we need to apply this material to our selected object and to click on the show shaded material button now we have our vase visible in the front view if if not visible if you can see this image here then maybe wireframe is selected from this menu so make sure that realistic is selected so now we have the image of our reference vase what we want to do is to create a line which moves exactly over the outline of our vase so let's go to create panel and from shapes group click on line now we will start drawing our line over exactly the outline of our vase or our reference vase let's click here create a vertex here another vertex here and we need to click here and here right click to exit the line creation mode now we need to modify this line so go to modify panel and from the vertex sub menu here we need to select this vertex and change it from corner to bezier we need to move these handles these green handles to make our line or move the vertex itself if needed to make our line match almost exactly the same as the outline of our reference vase let's do the same here to this vertex now we have almost almost there for this point here or vertex we need to change it from corner to bezier corner and move this handle and for this one maybe we need to move this handle this is fine this is fine okay now we have the outline created for our vase now we need to hide this plane we can select a different color for this line here 
Now we need to adjust the vertex, this one here. This is a hard edge or sharp corner. We need to make it smooth, so I will refine by creating a vertex here and another vertex here. And for this one, I will change it from corner to bezier and move the vertex and its handle to make it in the position where it should be. Now I will repeat this here, refine, add a point here, point there, and change this to bezier and move it, move its handles, then move to the move to this vertex this one also should have maybe we need to move this that's enough for this one we need to add a vertex here add a vertex there and change it from corner to bezier move these handles move the vertex itself and that's it now we have our line or outline of our beautiful vase now we need to clone this line so shift uh, click on the shift button and hold click and hold then move this line few millimeters to left and okay that's fine now we need to move the vertices at the bottom few millimeters and this one should be moved here now we are ready to attach these two lines together so click on the attach button and attach this to this now we have a single object here it's very important to move these two vertices to be exactly over this line this black line here which is the axis so click on the snaps toggle button and make sure right click on this button to have its options or settings window now make sure that vertex this these points are vertex and this line is grid line so make sure that this and this are selected every all other options should be not selected okay now select this one move it until you have this yellow or this nice green line do the same here okay now this is great now we have these two vertices are exactly over this line now we need to do another thing which is to close this here we should have a line here between these two these two yellow vertices so we need to create a line here what happened to this vertex? I think I accidentally moved it. Sorry. I need to move it back to its position. Okay. So let's create a line. And we need to click on the snap toggle and make sure that, right click, make sure that this only is selected vertex. We don't need this one. So click here, click here. Oh, now we have our line created. This is very nice. We need to have these two vertices welded. So, so click on, select these two vertices and click on weld. We also need to weld these two vertices. So, so select these two vertices and click on weld. Now we have our line ready. For the next step, 
which is very important as you can see here we have the pivot point of our object or our line here as you can see the pivot point is here this is not correct we should have this pivot point here exactly over this line or over this vertex so let's go to hierarchy panel and click on the effect pivot only and click on the snaps toggle and make sure that vertex and pivot are both selected here now let's move this pivot over this vertex now let's make sure that it's okay now we have it now we have our pivot in the correct place now let's start the funny part in this tutorial which is to apply a lathe modifier to this line go to modify panel and select lathe modifier here it is and as you you can see the magic of 3d studio max it created the vase from this line for us but there are few things we need to do here first thing as you can see the top of our vase is more like polygonal shape it should be a circle so you can change or we can change the number of segments from 16 to something like 34 32 i i mean or 64 whatever now this is fine we need also to click on the or select the this option here weld core to have this distortion to get rid of this distortion here so click on on weld core now now i think we have a decent shape of our vase we have a nice model the purpose of this tutorial was to create this 3d model and to introduce you to the lathe modifier which i think we have done now what we need to do next or what you need to do next is to watch more tutorials learn more to know how to apply a nice material to this vase or any other object and to and how to make a realistic rendering and to do so or to learn you have to watch more videos on my channel and other people's channel and to improve your 3d studio max skills so as a beginner or intermediate level this is fine you have a nice modeling and uh, please if you like this video then please click on like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and have a great time